Let's go watch it in 2D. No, let's go watch it in 3D. But if we watch it in 3D, then is it worth the cost? Manji, pick a character and you're that person in the game. Bethany, you in? Then I'll spend my life staring at a TV screen. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is James Tate from 3D or 2D.com. I'm just uh, recording this as a review, a uh, spoiler-free review, of the movie Jumanji, uh, Into the Jungle. Now, uh, Adolf is, ne is not going to be here, he hasn't seen the film. Uh, I, I got to see it though, and I decided, hey, let's, let's upload a... Uh, uh, a review of, of our own. So, you know, I decided to write one. I'm just recording it now. So, okay, getting into the film. Always gotta start where we always gotta start. The 3D. The 3D element, to me, personally, was really hit or miss. Because there are parts in it, like, for example, there's a scene where they're all in a helicopter and they're being chased and it's really dramatic. It looks really cool in 3D. But then you have a lot of other scenes where it just feels like the 3D was added. It's not completely necessary for the experience. I mean, you gotta remember, a lot, a lot of this movie is just, uh, just basically walking around in the jungle. And I mean, while the jungle looks okay, I, I say a little bit better in 3D, you know, in 2D, I don't think there would be much of a difference. So, it's not terrible though. It's not eye assaulting, but it's just barely passable. So I'm going to give this a good. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. Just a good 3D. So let's move on to, uh, to the film itself. Uh, now you may be wondering, what the heck does this movie have to do with the first one? Is it a reboot? Is it some sort of remake? No. It's not. It's not anything. Surprisingly enough, it's a sequel. Yeah, you wouldn't think about it. There is a, there's a thing at the be very beginning of the movie that actually ties this movie directly to the first one. Um, they didn't have to do that, but they decided to. And I can, I can respect that because in a way, it, you know, it connects the two films together in a way that doesn't feel forced, doesn't feel, you know, uh, contrived or anything. And it explains in a way how, you know, if you last remembered how the Jumanji, uh, Jumanji game was a board. It was a board game, you know, a traditional board game. You may be wondering, well, how does this board game become a video game? Well, the answer is magic. You're gonna have to watch the movie to, to see for yourself. Um, but I felt that it was a, it was a very interesting way of doing things and, a, and also something that really did make sense. Like, a game like Jumanji would adapt to its modern environment to be more accessible. Um, so I did appreciate that. I did appreciate them explaining that instead of just having Jumanji always be a video game and never be a board game like it was in, uh, you know, the first movie. Um, so that makes sense. Okay, now, now let's, let's move on to uh, the, the story itself. Now, you kind of have a, have a typical, uh, typical assortment of uh, your high school stereotypes. You got, you got your jock, you got, uh, you got your nerd, you got your uh, social outcast girl. Uh, sh she's shy. Doesn't like talking to people. Uh, and then you got your uh, your your uh, popular girl, um, who in this case, uh, because of modern uh, modern times, she's not popular per se at school. She's popular on the internet, uh, Instagram or something like that. Um, so it, it's 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 the stereotypes, but modernized. Uh, yes. Uh, so. What happens is, uh, these four eventually all get in detention, just like the breakfast, uh, club, I guess. Um, and, uh, they decide, hey, we should play this game 
because it's better than doing actual work. Which makes sense. I mean, if I found a video game in detention, of course I'd play it. Didn't matter what it was. It's better than actually doing work in detention. Uh, so they pop the Jumanji game in, and they uh, they get transported into the game. Now, the interesting thing is, and the, the, the neat little twist that the uh, filmmakers decided to do, is uh, they have player characters. They have avatars, meaning that they do not appear as themselves in the game. So, like, for example, the nerd transforms into an avatar that's played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Or the popular girl, hilariously, becomes the fat, middle-aged Jack Black. So, I mean, you got a lot of comedy that has to do with, you know, these actors acting like teenagers. And uh, vice versa for the characters. These these teenagers uh, trying to cope with the being these completely different people. Uh, personally, I felt that this was an extremely enjoyable part of the film. Extremely comedic. I, I, I enjoyed a lot of the line deliveries, especially from Jack Black acting as a 16-year-old girl. That was certainly a very, uh, very memorable. Um, and I can, I can commend it for that. You know, I think that th this film wouldn't work, in fact. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this film would not work at all if the four teenagers were zapped into the game as themselves. I, you know, I'm just going to say, you know, like, maybe it could have been okay, but, you know, a lot of the comedy comes from these, uh, them playing off as these avatars, these, uh, player characters, which, as far as I'm concerned, I think that this is the first film to actually do this, um, uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, in all other movies that have to do with being sucked into a video game, uh, you, uh, you always have, uh, the whole, they, they kind of get sucked in as themselves. Like, they don't get sucked in and play a different character. They always are sucked in, like, basically as, as, uh, the same. Uh, so yeah. That was, that was a neat, uh, thing that they did. So, um, you know, they, they get into the game, they figure out they have three lives, and as all video game movies go, or as all, uh, being sucked into a video game works, you got three lives. If you lose them up, if you, if you die in the, in the game, you die in real life. That's, you know, simple explanation. Everyone understands it. Um, they gotta get out of Jumanji. They gotta, get the, the, the emerald MacGuffin and they gotta put it in the, in the mountain to get out of the game. Pretty simple plot, you know? It's not, it's not that complicated. Uh, and, uh, if I had to criticize the film for anything, I'd say that some of the, some of the plot lines are a little bit cliche, you know? You got, you got your first romance, you got, you know, your first kiss or whatever. And, uh, some of the plots go absolutely nowhere. Uh, there's there's just a, you know minor spoiler there, there, there's like a che there's a uh, cheating on a test subplot and uh, it doesn't really go anywhere uh, there's also the uh, the the popular girl breaks up with her boyfriend and she mentions it a lot in the film and nothing really happens at the end like they don't get back together you know you never see the boyfriend it makes me like kind of scratch my head like uh what the heck? And, uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, I personally give, uh, give this movie a seven em Emerald uh, MacGuffins out of ten. Uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it, it might have some cliches, might have some teenage cliches, but, uh, but I personally think that, you know, the actors, some of the originality, and, uh, you know, the well-written comedy is definitely uh, a, a definite bump up for me personally. And uh, there's also the bonus of uh, this, this movie, Jumanji uh, Into the Jungle, works as both a sequel and on its own. So I would recommend Jumanji 
into the jungle. However, not really the 3D. I mean, you can see it in 3D. It's not bad. But yeah, that that's my review. We've become the avatars we chose. Welcome to Jumanji. This is a video game, which means we each have three lives. Come on, let's go. I'm Alex. Watch your step in here. All right, so that's going to wrap up this podcast. Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, love, whatever, heart it, be something. 3D or 2D.com can be found on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio. And if you want to send us email, our email address is email 3D or 2D at gmail.com. And thank you again for listening. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye, everyone.